Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. Um, one of the things we like to do on this show is I like, I've been talking a lot about uh, ways we can help the environment. And I came across this resort that's in Thailand that is very sustainable, eco-friendly resort. And I have somebody from the resort, uh, Arnfin Oynes. Did I pronounce that correctly? I'm very well. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, thank you for taking the time. I know it's, uh, I think you guys are about 14 hours ahead. Um, so th thank you for taking time out of your day. Why don't you tell everybody the name of the resort um, and basically its inception, why it was created, and, and kind of give us an overview of what the resort is and what it does in terms of its uh, um, eco footprint. Well, Suneva actually have three resorts. We have uh, Suneva Kiri in um, Thailand, and then we have Suneva Fushi, which was our original resort in the Maldives. And the newest one, Suneva Jani, that is um, just uh, a couple of years old. So those are the resorts we're having. Um, and, and if we take it back from the beginning, um, uh, Suneva was, was actually came by by an accident. Um, uh, our, our founders, Son and Eva, uh, they were, um, uh, in principle, then a young a young couple wanting to to uh, build a dream a dream house. Uh, and um, Eva took uh, Sonia to uh, to the Maldives to show where where the dream location uh, would be, and, and uh, both of them fell in love with it uh, and wanted them to build a house. Uh, but that was not possible because of uh, legal restraints uh, that you couldn't build a house as a foreigner uh, so the option was to uh, set up a, a resort um, so and that's exactly what they did, did. they um, found a, a, a actually a resort company out of Thailand that they bought and then eventually built um, Suneva Fushi that they opened in 1995 and since then um, they have, have grown they also founded and started the six senses um, uh, and at the time they had um, 14 resorts and about 26 spas, um, but then decided to, during 2012, to focus on the, the main uh, and the, the high, highest end brand, which was really their, their brainchild of, of, um, of um, Suneva and, and sold off the Six Senses brand and, and, um, and concentrated on Suneva. And that's where it is now with, with the three resorts. Okay. And so what, were the resorts always um, this uh, environmentally friendly or aware from the beginning, or is that something that came on sort of later? It's always been um, part of the philosophy, and, and it's pretty much uh, the, the main uh, Brian child of, of when it comes to this uh, sustainability is Eva. She really brought in from the beginning and hammered that in. Uh, Sonia was maybe not so in the beginning, uh, uh, believing that much in it, but then Eva brought it on, and then uh, he he really also now has, has for taken it on and for many years uh, championed it, um, and, and so it's really been part of the company philosophy from day one. Um, I would say, of course, things have evolved. Uh, we have learned and become better at doing things, um, and so it's and it's it's a journey. It's always a process of getting better and better and doing things more sustainable. Um, but it's always been part of the DNA of the company. Oh, so tell us specifically what your resort does that is so sustainable compared to, let's say, a regular hotel or resort. Well, our resorts take a holistic view and, and really trying from from the planning in the beginning, uh, the development, uh, integrating to design that we uh, uh, focus on choosing materials that are sustainable. Uh, we use a lot of natural uh, timber, uh, all uh, most of them fast growing trees um, and and coming from sustainable plantations. Uh, so that's an important aspect. Um, a lot of design also is built around um, having open spaces. Um, so um, we are operating in tropical environment, which which leads a lot of heat and often requires a lot of cooling. Uh, we minimize the, the cooling requirements to mainly be around the, the, the bedrooms, whereas we have uh, open living rooms. We have often have um, 100 square meter big open bathrooms. Um, and where you can take an outdoor shower under the, the, the moonlight. So, so that's, 
an important part of, of reducing the, the energy consumption. Um, we have also focused a lot lately on, on moving towards renewable energy, installed um, solar panels at, at Suneva Fushi. Um, and then also we take very much serious how we deal with our waste. Um, we have a, a very strong focus on, on um, recycling our, our waste. We recycle about 90% of our solid waste and have found a lot of innovative ways to uh, take care of our waste because we operate in remote areas uh, which doesn't have access to to uh, sound um, waste facilities. So we have a lot of it we have to do ourselves. Um, another thing we did um, over a decade ago was to ban all imported water. So we only did... Um, only do now um, uh, our own produced water, still and sparkling, uh, all with glass bottles. So there's no plastic bottles in our resorts. Um, we've never actually or hardly ever used uh, plastic straws. This was banned, I think, after a couple of years of operation, uh, plastic straws were banned. So back in 97, uh, the straws, uh, plastic straws were banned. So it's something that we've done for, for a long time. Um, and, and we do do a lot of things. Um, we have also a very strong focus on, on measuring our impact. So we have, uh, for many years, we have measured our, our carbon footprints. Uh, and there we not only look at our direct emissions through, through our energy consumption, but we also look at indirect. So bringing um, products to, to our property, uh, the guests flying to, to our resorts, uh, we take into consideration. Um, and, and that's something we, we also then have, um, put forward practices through the Suneva Foundation to mitigate. So we have since 2012 been operating carbon neutral. Uh, that's also including the guests flying to our resorts, uh, which is quite unique that, um, we, we consider our indirect emissions. So how does that work then? The the offsetting of you know people flying to your resorts by airplane. How how specifically does that work? Well, we have um, since two thousand eight we have uh, put uh, environmental levy on our our guests. So two percent of our room revenue is charged um, to what we call our environment fund. We channel this through the um, Suneva Foundation, and the Suneva Foundation invests in uh, various carbon mitigating projects. Um, we have uh, done a, a carbon um, or a, a forest restoration project in Thailand where we planted about half a million trees. Um, we have done um, a cook stove project in, in Darfur and are currently doing a cook stove pom- project in Myanmar um, in which we're generating um, um, a carbon credits. And all those, those projects um, um, are... Um, uh, our carbon mitigating projects that then we offset towards our uh, our uh, emissions, including I guess flights and which we we calculate. Ah, okay. And what have you seen? Because I I I remember that documentary came out several years ago uh, about the rising sea levels and how they're how much they are affecting the Maldives. How have you at the the resort in, that you have the Soniva Resort in the Maldives? How have you seen the impact of rising sea tides on your resort and the community around it? Well, we do see that there are more um, uh, pressure on, on, on the beach and in terms of uh, beach erosion. Uh, another challenge is is you have had several uh, bleaching events, so coral bleaching, uh, which is uh, negatively impacting uh, us, in, especially in terms of, of guests. Uh, experiences uh there's um a pressure on the, the reefs um uh and that's that is something a lot of our guests come to to see this uh, the marine life and so when they get bleached that's that negative affects it and um, and then um and then with with the waves now getting um with it when you don't necessarily see the sea level rise but you see that the effects from the waves uh have more uh, lead to more beach erosion, which is, um, it, which is, you have, don't have, it, it's a relatively small island that you, you're dealing with. We have one of the biggest islands in the Maldives, which is about, uh, a mile long, um, uh, and about f- a quarter of a mile wide. Um, so it, it's not big, big. And then when, when you stand starting with more, uh, erosion, that is, is, um, 
something uh, that is is challenging and we can see that for other islands smaller islands there is much more of a uh, uh, challenge for it and we've had some islands uh, in the Maldives where the local population had to to relocate so it is certainly impacting the country uh, the country is about two foot uh, 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 no six feet two meters uh, as the highest point so there's there's not much um, elevation in the country to to seek up at. <laughs> wow um, and what do you is Sony uh, like what other um, what, what's the question I want to ask I guess like is there any sort of network of sustainable hotels and resorts that Soniva is a part of? Um, we we are members of an uh, organization called the International Tourism Partnership, um, which is um, uh, based out of uh, uh, London uh, uh, and, and set up initially by the Prince of Wales. Uh, um, it's um, have uh, members from all the big big uh, hotel companies around the world. Uh, it's about uh, thirty thousand um, rooms, I think, is, is a total. Um, so, or hotels. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a big organization that, that brings the big, big brands on. And we, in that respect, are a small player in there. But what we can bring to the table is, is our voice and our, mm. our way of, of trying to, to get an influence. And, and organization have gotten the industry, uh, or those members to agree on four, uh, key principles. And one of them is, is on, uh, science-based tar carbon targets, which is critical for dealing with, with climate change. So this is so now we'll see the big companies working on that. Um, more lo locally, we also are, have uh, collaboration with uh, fellow resorts in the uh, in the Atoll that we we are based. We have we are part of our organization called Bara, which is um, really the resorts within the atoll that, that meet on a, on a regular basis and discuss uh, challenges that faces um, uh, that we face locally. So that's also a way of collaborating locally on and also on the international stage. So um, how, how much how much change or impact have you seen Soniva having on these other resorts and and what do you sort of uh, see the future of this since we've gotten this this newest report from the UN that says uh, you know the planet's temperature is rising by even more than uh, two degrees Celsius. Celsius. What 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 do you see? What changes have you seen that are a positive view, and and what other efforts do you think need to be taken within the the hotel industry? Well, well, one simple measure that we've seen. I mean, uh, in two thousand eight, we as I mentioned, we. Uh, um, stopped uh, all our, our imported water and produced all our uh, drinking water ourselves um, and, and put them in plastic bottles, no, in, in glass bottles. And that's something that at that time was I've heard of and like uh, there was no, no, could not be doing. We needed to, to have brand water and we needed to have imported water. And, um, and uh, over the years, we've seen more and more companies uh, um, follow that practice. And, and now it's almost like everyone does it. It's um, um, a lot, a lot of companies do take part of it. They might not necessarily do absolute all water, but they certainly still, uh, many do have a plant and focusing on using glass bottles. Um, so that has been something that we've seen. It, it's a way of influencing on uh, on doing and we uh, we were also part of funding and setting up our organization called Whole World Water that then uh, we were trying to um, copy a bit what we were doing getting other hotels to, to copy what we're doing by producing our own water and also give some of um, the proceeds to uh, water our project and then we as a small company has been been able to help uh, about 750,000 people get access to uh, safe, either safe drinking water or basic sanitation. Okay. Well, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time and, and opening our eyes to what um, can be done just at a resort, how people can impact and change their own business. Is something I talk a lot about on this show to all of our viewers. I say there's the little things you can do, and I always say, like, if you run a business, if you go to a, like, 
support i always say like vote with your dollars so support uh businesses such as yourselves and the and the other business you go to restaurants and all that stuff you can petition them to say uh no more plastic bottles no more straws no more single-use plastic that's like a huge issue we've we see out there um so uh i will put to everybody watching i will put the soniva website in the show notes so people can go to the website and and check it out and get more information and if you're thinking about booking a trip I would suggest using a resort that's very sustainable like this one. Is there anything else you want to leave with us or anything people can do um, before we go? Well, one thing I wanted to, to add, I mean, there's, there's, we operate obviously in, in the very high end uh, category and there are often we get criticism where how can luxury and, and sustainability go together? I mean, for us, uh, we view it in a different way as saying that often that the most luxurious experience is the most sustainable experience. Mm. Um, our, one, a lot of our focus is on providing great food for our guests. And we, are, we are known for having fantastic food outlets and a really great uh, uh, top, top uh, and um, uh, food experiences. And how we can achieve that uh, in the middle of the Indian Ocean, where you often rely on a lot of impulses, that we grow a lot of our own uh, vegetables and salads and herbs um, and, and what is, isn't fresher and better for a chef to cook from things that it's taken directly from the ground. And that's, and what isn't more sustainable. So that is something we get a lot of praise from our guests. Uh, and there is an example where the most sustainable experience is the most luxurious. So we're getting a freshly picked salad uh, that you are um, prepared by a, a, a top-notch uh, chef. That's something, a rarity that you might not get in even in a, in a city environment where often the vegetables have traveled two, three days before they are served. So, so those, those things um, are ways of, of showing that you can actually be very sustainable uh, and at the same time providing fantastic and luxurious experiences well thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day to, sh to share this with us it's uh, one of the things I like doing on the show is finding people that are doing uh, new and interesting uh, finding new and interesting ways to help uh, save the planet and reverse cl climate change so thank you so much for taking the time and uh, everybody out there watching please of course go to my website and support all my tour dates and all that stuff thank you so much for watching